I almost <laughs> drove my car <laughs> off of a bridge after that. Fly FM. All right, oh my goodness, guys, it's so amazing to actually be here right in front of you guys. The movie was amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I just really want to know, though, I mean, it is based on the creator, Yukira Kishiro's manga mm -hmm. 30 years ago. So what drawn you guys to the story itself? Well, we were introduced to the movie, Jim Cameron and myself, by Guillermo del Toro mm -hmm. in 1999, a long wow. time ago. And <laughs> when Jim first saw it, he said, this is a story I want to tell as a director. The story of innocence and her discovery of self-empowerment. Um, but again, we got in a way of a little movie called Avatar. Yes. And then we had to find the right filmmaker to parent with, and uh, we finally found that with Robert. How was it like when you auditioned for Alita? I mean, all of you were in the room, right? Tell me everything. You know, it. Uh, my my. Going back, my agent called me. He said. He said, "Hey, would you like to?" Um, possibly audition for this movie. It's called Alita Battle Angel, and it'll be directed by Robert Rodriguez and the script written by J James Cameron. And I said, uh, sure. And then he <laughs> sent me the, the it's not always you get the whole script, by the way. A lot of times it's very secretive. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're sending the whole script already. Ooh. This is such a gift. And then I read the script and I went, I have to tell this story. It became less about, you know, I mean, it was still about who was involved, but it became even more about the story itself and how important it was to tell the story. So I put my all into working on the on the sides and I thought I could play this very, you know, robotic or, or, or very stoic, but it seems like what Alita is really about is what's inside, the emotionality of it. it she's, you know, very much a, a, a open, bleeding heart. So I drove over to um, the Four Seasons where we were having the, the casting and uh, I, I walked in there like, I'm ready to rock. And then I walked in and there were all types of actresses, <laughs> big actresses, unknown actresses, uh, you know, all beautiful different um, ethnicities and ages. And I thought, oh, I, might, I have my work cut out for me. But I still, you know, I went back into the size and I said, no, I still feel like this is, this is my story to tell. I felt a, a connection to it. I can't explain. Um, and then I, I went up there and uh, I, I just let the intimidation fall away. I mean, this is Robert Rodriguez and you naturally, I mean, he's a Latino director. He also directed my favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time, Desperado, which informed me as, an, as a performer since a young age, so I just, I let all that stuff go. I let the fact that I'm reading with Mary Bernou casting agent and not Hugo or Ido, uh, and I just said, this is about the story, so I just wanna tell this story, and it became very important for me, even in the room, to just tell the story. Uh, and I think perhaps that's what, um, that's what did it. Now, Robert, there's also a story you've told me where Rosa's, you said to Rosa, people tell me. Yeah, 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 of mine. <laughs> oh, I wanna find yeah. the email, my friend, actually, Tim. Tim Murkowski, who worked on the sound, uh -huh. he's the one who wrote me once and said, I guess his wife and him were watching a movie of hers. He just wrote me, that's all the email said was, we like Rosa Salazar, you should work with her. Oh, no. wow. cool. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I should know who that is, but she's Latina. So um, I kept that in mind. And then when I met her, she came in, I said, oh, this is Rosa Salazar. She's coming in. Oh, good. I'll finally get to meet her. She came in, knocked me across the room. Wow. And as she was leaving, I said, people have told me I should work with you. And she said, and I would agree. I almost <laughs> drove my car off of a bridge after that. I, I, the whole way home, I'm like, what are you think? I was like, ha, 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 yeah, okay. And then I went in the hallway, I was like, are you serious? Yeah, no, you really that that. I love shows that story. Greater instincts I love that story. Wow. But you, as a performer, you go in there, you're like, I did it, I kicked it off, and then there's just that one, it, it's the story of my life where it's like, I go just a little bit too far, and I'm like, why did you say? I didn't know. I didn't know you like I know you now. I didn't know that you would have loved a little bit like now, that. But I was you, like, oh my god. People put a lot of importance on yeah, the audition yeah. and what, yeah. you, what you do in the room. But truly, really, she got the part before she walked in the room. It's about who she is and how she is and how she lives her life and how creative she is and how she's able to emote. That's really what got her the role. When she walked in, that that what she did was just an extension of what she always did. And she does that all the way through the room. So it really had very little to do with what she did in that moment. Everything is built up for that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy because when I was watching the movie, you know, like Alita is this human robot person, but she's the most relatable person I know when I was watching it, and I feel like you totally delivered that in the most amazing way. So, so we make the distinction, distinction that Alita is not a robot, she's a cyborg. A cyborg right. is an augmented human. 
A person with a pacemaker is a cyborg. A person with a prosthetic arm is a cyborg. And this is really a story about what does it mean to be human? Are you human based on what your body is? Are you human based on what your heart is? Are you wow. human based on what your mind and your soul is? And that's what Alita is, and that's what Rosa brings to this role is such humanity. Well, that's the promise that you made me. You said, I don't, there's gonna be all this technological stuff going on. Uh, yes, she's a cyber. But we just want you to give the most organic human performance. And that's why we hired you. So I said, okay, I'll just, I'll just do what I do. And, uh, and that was so freeing. So thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> You know, I was, I was thinking a lot about the movie, and I'm not trying to spoil to anyone, okay, to those of you who haven't seen it, but you know how Ido found you at the scrapyard? Yes. It, I can't stop thinking how there could be possibilities of another Alita cyborg. So, you know, is that something in question or, you know, in the universe maybe? I, I, I think this is a rich and vast universe. Wow, okay. And um, if your audience uh, goes to the movies and tells us they want sequels, I think you have Kishiro created in enough of a world, <laughs> Robert, Rosa, myself, and Jim Cameron, we would love to deliver that back to your audiences. Wow, okay, oh my god, I'm excited because when the movie ended, I was like, what? I need to know what happens next. Good, <laughs> right? good. Fly FM, today's hottest music.